Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <clears throat> before we start, um, let us pray. In the name of the, the Father, Father, and the, the Son, Son, and the, and the House, House of, of Asians. Asians. Tonight, Benedict and I have the pleasure of announcing Breakout in Film Award. From children's clown entertainer, <laughs> to stock photo model, to the heady heights of the accrual world of accountancy, um, to finally break out and finding his true passion in acting. Yes. It's actually He's very, very talented. Oh, you should see him doing imitations of Dustin and people I shouldn't name here. <laughs> but also, you should hear him sing. I think the Shang-Chi sequel should be a musical. <laughs> And he's incredibly generous, not only on, for his work on screen, but he never allowed any of us to ever pay for a single meal. And now everyone's too scared to fight for him for the check. <laughs> and he never takes himself too seriously. I could roast him all night here, and I bet you he'd still offer to pay for our next dinner. Through tenacity, dedication, and possibly courageous tweeting, we've marveled at the journey of a mild-mannered accountant to become the superhero for all Asians, for all ages. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Simu Liu! Wow, good evening, uh, friends, peers, liberal elites. Um, so, uh, thank you to Fala and, and Benny. I, I love you guys forever. I, I really do. Um, wow. Uh, it feels so good to be back at the Unforgettable Gala after two years looking out at a, a sea of beautiful faces. Yeah, a lot of Korean skincare routines in the uh, audience tonight. It's so radiant. Um, my, uh, I don't know, I don't know, guys. My first unfo was back in uh, 2018 when I was on a little Netflix show called Kim's Convenience. I bought a $90 tux and a clip-on bow tie from Santee Alley. It was a great time, it was a great time. Uh, lots changed since then. For one, a movie with an Asian cast became the top grossing domestic movie in the pandemic era. So glad you clapped for that. Um, but a lot hasn't. Uh, we're, we're still here at the Beverly Hilton. John Cho is still hot. And uh, we are still celebrating a fish out of water Asian American story featuring Aquafina, Michelle Yeoh, and Ronnie Chang. Seriously, Ronnie, how do you manage to weasel your way into everything? It's, uh, it's a gift. It's, uh, it's an honor to be here tonight to accept this award. It honestly means the world to me. Um, it unfortunately means a little less to my parents, who, when I invited them to attend the gala, said, maybe when you get an Oscar. Um, <laughs> it's not a joke, guys. It actually, it happened. It ha I'm telling you. You know, we, we all worked so hard to make this incredible movie, and I get so much credit for, for standing on the shoulders of so many brilliant and talented people. You know, there are people who have been fighting this war for representation for so much longer than I have. Uh, Fala, Benny, Tony, Michelle, Nora, these brilliant actors carried my ass across the finish line and made sure my anxiety and my eagerness to prove myself didn't get in the way of the movie. Destin. Oh, I, I wanna look him in the eye for the, Destin, where are you? Oh, there you are. You, oh, oh hello, hello. Sorry, everyone's really, dark, it's the lighting's, it's all on me. Um, you gave me the opportunity of a lifetime and you taught me the value of leaning into vulnerability and being flawed and imperfect and I could never thank you enough for that. Um, but I'll start by trying to be a better actor in the sequel. 
Um, to quote the great Sandra O, oh, AKA Asian Merrill, AKA the chosen one, AKA the Canadian goat. It is an honor just to be Asian. Although, although I would add it's a little more honorable if you are also a doctor, a lawyer, or a venture capitalist. That's a funny one. Uh, I think I've been asked a million times over whether I feel like representing my community ever feels heavy or, uh, or like a burden, as if being a part of this community is something I can just turn on and off, like a light switch or an R. Kelly song. Essentially, they're asking me if I ever get tired of being Asian. Uh, and then they give me like 20 seconds to answer the question so they could pick it apart uh, for sound bites and throw it up on the internet with these really clickbait sounding titles like, Simu Liu hates being Asian. Uh, so to, to set the record straight, no, I'm not tired of being Asian. Even when the press asks me the same questions over and over and over and over and over and over again. When I first came out to LA in 2017, it was my Asian-ness that saved me from being swallowed up and buried by the industry. It was Mr. Ken Jeong, who was producing and starring in a show called Dr. Ken. I, I reached out to him over Twitter because I literally did not know anybody else, and, and five minutes later, he had arranged for me to have a drive-on pass to the studio lot for the run of the show. And if I ever felt helpless or frustrated, I could always go and watch the cast work and, and just observe. Now, Ken didn't have to respond to my DMs, but the kindness that he showed me was because he understood how hard it was for people that looked like us in the industry. And as I spent more time in the community, I realized that Ken's generosity was the rule, not the exception. I met with Wang Fu Productions, whom I idolized. I idolized growing up. They were, they were so kind, and they opened the doors to collaboration right away. You know, there was a time not long ago where, where the only space that existed for Asian Americans was on YouTube, and that's largely thanks to pioneers like Phil and Wes, who, who took a look at the system that was not designed for their success and said, screw it, we're gonna make our own. There are so many people here tonight fighting the good fight, making content, reaching back and creating opportunities for others and showing me what it means to be unapologetically Asian. The more I think about it, the more it feels like a superpower. And today, I'm where I am because of all who came before me. But just so you all know, I'll never say that publicly. Publicly, I will be taking all the credit. Simu Liu, first ever Asian person on screen. And he did it alone. Uh, in closing, um, I'm deeply appreciative of this award. I hope this gala grows more and more each year as we continue to recognize the importance of celebrating our wins. So don't be like my adorably shy parents who were raised not to rock the boat or cause a ruckus. Show up, take space, and show the world how cool it is to be Asian. Thank you. Thank you, James and Audrey. Thank you for the rest of the Unfo team. Thank you so much.